We all know the Gelfling very well. Aside from the Skeksis and the Podlings, they are the most recognizable race in all of Thra. But for all you newcomers and for those who have yet to learn, Gelfling history actually stretches far back in time and covers a vast amount of mythology. Here in this video, I will provide a brief history of the most treasured race in all of Thra, the Gelfling. The Age of Innocence was the very first age of existence on Thra, when all sentient races lived together as one, with simple, peaceful lives. One of these sentient races was the Gelfling, a small humanoid creature with large eyes, long hair, and pointed ears, who lived as a primitive species, hunting, gathering, and fishing. At this time, the Vapor Clan was already in existence, and they and the rest of the Gelfling learned how to educate themselves about the ways of the world, and even the powers of the crystal, through Agra's teachings, who was a child of Thra herself. By her wisdom, they became closer to nature and their powerful, lush, bountiful lands, often utilizing the power of dream fasting, an ability that both shared. Upon the arrival of the Urskex, the Age of Harmony was begun and the Urskex began to teach the Gelfling things that Agra could not. They received information on how to tame nature, advance technology, and even craft new weapons and tools. This ultimately led the Gelfling to colonize much of Thra, spreading cultures far and wide to all corners of the land. Because of this paradigm shift in society that was provided by the Urskex, the Gelfling began to venerate and even worship their new leaders. But the Skeksis' evil nature did not go completely unnoticed, as Agra's son Raunip was the only figure who openly disputed the Urskex and their arrival. He even attempted a failed mission to attack the castle, recruiting as many Gelfling to his cause as he could. At the time of the Second Great Conjunction, the Urskex had prepared the castle to catch the massive rays of light which would purify their souls and allow them to return home. To witness the event, a small Gelfling delegation was invited, consisting of a song teller named Gear and Lady Kel, who was the daughter of Vapra Elder Vadev. However, when the event occurred and Gear began to play his song, darkness overcame the Urskex, and instead of returning, they were split into two beings. In their anger, they cracked the crystal and doomed Thra into a crazed, convoluted existence. This began the Age of Division. Soon after this great event, a cavern-dwelling species known as the Makrak suddenly emerged from their homes deep beneath the earth and began to randomly attack the Gelfling. It was later learned that their home had actually collapsed, and the attacks were due to their new painful lives trying to exist in an environment they did not understand. Nevertheless, this prompted Gelfling elder Karn to form an alliance with the Skeksis for protection. Karn was the leader of the early Spriton clan, and in reality was actually the clan's very first official Madra. Fearing for the survival of her remaining clan, she sought out the newly appointed Emperor Skexo and requested aid. What resulted was something known as the Alliance of the Crystal, through which the Skexes were now officially recognized by all Gelfling as the new gods and guardians of the Crystal. Most don't know this, but over the next 1,000 trine, it was actually the Skeksis who divided them into seven different clans, using the already existing loose structures that the Gelfling had created. And of course, this became a breeding ground for prejudice. The Vapor Clan was immediately instated as the new leader in their capital of Harar, expanding on their age, wisdom, and hierarchy over the other clans. As part of their new obligations to the Alliance of the Crystal, they were charged with ensuring that all clans provided strong soldiers to serve at the Crystal Castle, a small price to pay for their safety. And now, of course, this leads us right up to the beginning of Age of Resistance, when the Skeksis' abuse of the Crystal is finally uncovered. As the darkening spreads through Thra, the Gelfling crops begin to die, their farms fail, and their animals are driven insane. Clues begin to slowly be unraveled, and eventually, a new resistance would start to form. Now, as we get ready to embark on Season 2, we can see what a long, fascinating journey the Gelfling have been on. They were simple, peaceful creatures until the Urskex completely altered their existence and spiraled them into darkness. Now, with the truth uncovered and all the Gelfling clans finally standing together, 
they will be able to carve a new path to freedom and restore Thra to its original state. Well my friends, that's going to do it for today's video on a brief history of the Gelfling. Now it's time for you guys to leave all of your thoughts and opinions down below in the Great White Void, and I'll see you guys back here for the next video very soon.